Hello, so I'm going to show you how you can um, simply change and tweak and design your lock page or your password protected page. So you go to, you start off, um, if you want to watch my video on how to create a password protected page, I'll just pop it under here and also there's a video on changing your um, built-in domain name which is this so when you're building a website and you want to share it with somebody um, but it's not public and you don't have a plan it's good to change the built-in um, domain and uh, make it password protected and share the password so we're going to go into settings to change the um, design of the page no we're not we're going to go into design and then we're going to go into lock screen and I have made um, a little design here and I will show you how to change things so basically it starts out with just like a grey page you can change the layout here so say you're a photographer and you want to share um, some photos you can do um, there's a there's a selection here somewhere your photos are ready or here it's under construction so you can choose whichever one you want i want a really simple one because i'm creating a template and i want people to just i just want it to be really really simple so for people to enter the password and go and see the demo so to add in the text again i'm going to make it really really simple um my um the motivation I, the intention i have here is for them to literally my call to action my main call to action is for them to press to type in keeper in here um, and then check out the demo and see if they want to buy it. So it, so I've just put the keeper template, password to enter keeper. So it's pretty simple, like, or, or maybe I would say enter the password keeper, uh, enter, enter password to enter. Yeah, password to enter is fine, keeper. So just keep it really simple. So um, for the branding, I put the, the keeper template and that's all in caps locks naturally. You can put a header in there as well, um, but it makes it really, really big. So you could, instead of putting it there, you could, let's see if this works. You could enter it there and then it becomes just bigger. I quite like that. So I might keep it there, the keeper template, password to enter. Or you could keep this in here because actually I find the password is more important for me. And then instead of putting the password in the body text, I might just put it in here. It doesn't look as good. But it does, it does, it does the job. So I might just actually keep that um, because actually the most important thing here is that they understand they have to put keeper in to enter the demo. Because there's so many times when a customer will just be like, nah, too hard, won't do it. It's just, which is so distracted. <laughs> and that's it. That's it for the branding. So save that. Um, and then there's other options. So you've got the branding and then media. So, um, you can put in a video or an image. I really like the idea of putting a video in of like a slow, you know, maybe um, GIF of um, sort of wheat fields or something like that. But I thought, I'd, again, I'd keep it really simple. So either way, you can just upload. So you just go in here and you just add image and you upload. So it's really, really simple. And obviously images, JPEGs, videos, MP4s. Um, and then you can change some styles. So you can change the, um, sometimes it doesn't let you, which is very annoying. Um, but you can change the colors basically of the text. That's the main thing. Um, and you can change the, the border here. Um, the white border, you can make it into black and the, the writing within, and you can change these colors, all that kind of thing. Um, so you just have to play around with these. So that is it and so that is your private lock screen so it's much nicer to sort of land on a page where it's um custom made and beautiful um rather than than just the the, the custom the the standard squarespace one so yeah i hope you enjoyed this please do like and subscribe it's so easy to do um, if you subscribe, you're not going to get loads of emails from you or anything like that. It just literally means that you'll know, like on your YouTube, my videos will pop up more and um, it'll be really helpful for me. And if you don't want to subscribe, liking is really, really helpful for, more, for me. Or commenting, even just like an emoji would be great. Um, thank you so much.